Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brennan Mayonnaise. My name is Taylor Doherty. And welcome to the 30 for 30 series. Today, we're getting a good leg workout in, so without further ado, let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double because all right, so as I said, 30 for 30, which means every single day we're coming back with a new video. If it's not posted by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it means it's a rest or recovery day. Today we have legs, and Taylor's gonna be demonstrating a lot of the movements for you, along with Jeremy behind the camera. Now before we jump in, I wanna give you a few tips that you could be utilizing not only for this workout, but future workouts, so let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. Today your technique is everything. If you feel like the movement isn't effective, rewatch the videos and practice. Number two, it's important that we develop your adductors. This is your inner thigh. The majority of humans have overdeveloped abductors, so these need work. Number three, if you need to make a movement easier, don't hesitate. I highly suggest using a chair to help with stabilization. Number four, when doing any leg movement, I suggest squeezing all of your toes into the ground as if you were trying to grab grass with your bare feet. Number five, if you wanna increase your power output for longer periods of time, pick up your Create You Creatine HCL, link is in the description. And last but not least, number six, if you aren't sleeping enough, you'll notice a plateau in your results. I sleep eight hours a night, don't jip out on your sleeping. All right, first superset, we're gonna be doing some squat get-ups. Now it's very important that you're not coming too high up when you're getting up from the ground because you won't feel as much stress on that glute and also that quad, okay? So Taylor is here facing the couch, He's on something a little bit squishy, I do suggest that. He's gonna squeeze in his abs, and you'll notice completely straight spine right here, okay? Now, from this position, his knees are about shorter width apart. Let's turn a little bit uh, towards the camera, cool. And now he's gonna take one step up on his left. As you can see, it's almost like a 90 degree angle right here, or just a little bit less with his knee joint, all right? Then he's gonna take his other foot up, and he's not gonna come too high. Notice how neutral spine, he's in a really, really good position, and then he's gonna come right back down the same exact way, and boom. So he's gonna be doing that for 20 seconds long, pretty consistently, neutral spine, and you are going to feel it. Again, this is the first warm-up set to really get you ready for the rest of the workout. All right, here we go. We got one line lunges going into another movement, superset. So essentially what he's gonna do is completely neutral spine, straight from his head to his toe. You'll notice that his chin is tucked in. Everything is straight line right here, okay? Now, when he does a lunge, he's gonna lunge forward, okay? And notice how he's going a little bit too forward this way. I want him to shift backwards slightly and keep that knee off of the ground. Keep the knee off the ground right there. Now he's gonna shoot up with that foot, go all the way back here, and notice how he's a little bit shoot, shooting forward too much, shift back a little bit, keeping that knee off the ground, then going all the way forward again. Now the most important thing here is that you don't wanna to stretch too much of that hip flexor, so make sure you're doing this correctly. After you do 10, going each way, come over here, we're gonna to go to hamstrings. We're gonna do this movement on the same leg, and then you're gonna move back to the same lunges and then the other leg, okay? So, notice how his knee's about at a 90 degree angle right here. His chin is gonna be tucked back in, and then his hands are gonna be squeezing against the ground, pushing against it, all right? Now he's gonna come up, and he's only gonna come up halfway, and he's gonna hold it. He's feeling his hamstring like crazy right here, you feel it? Mm -hmm. Amen, and that is your superset. So as I said, our abductors are so underdeveloped, so I wanna really focus on this movement to get it right for you. So it's gonna be a superset going into an abducted movement. Okay, so he's gonna be in a lunge position. Now the most important thing is that this left foot is straight, okay? And his spine is completely neutral, squeezing in his abs as much as possible. This foot is gonna be lined up with this foot. Now, he's going, as he extends this knee, this foot is gonna drag and pull so his adductor is being felt and pressed up against the ground as much as possible, squeezing at the top, boom, for one second, then resetting. So he's gonna come right back out, and he's gonna, again, slide the foot as much as possible, keeping it closed as much as possible. The second you externally rotate at that hip, you'll see it kind of give a little bit. You won't feel it in your adductor. One more time, he's going to go ahead, keep this straight, tightening everything in. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Amen. And that is part of the superset. Now we're gonna move over here. He's gonna be doing abduction movements for the, those glutes. Trying to keep it off of the TFL. If you know what TFL is, go ahead and look it up on Google. So, what he's gonna do, big chest. He doesn't wanna be bending over too much. So he can come a little bit further forward towards the wall, okay? You can just grab onto whatever you want. Keep your chin back and tucked, okay? Now, he's gonna bring this right foot up 
and very, very slight. So as he brings his foot up here, we want him to, instead of going here with the foot, we want it to be here. So he's almost like squeezing everything on the outside. Now, you'll notice that if his glutes are not squeezed in full extension, it's gonna be a lot of pressure on that TFL, which is the front side more of the leg. So put it down. What we want him to do is from here, squeeze your glutes in as much as possible. Extend them. Okay, now go ahead and do it. Boom, right there. And he's not even gonna go too far. I would say it's about like 30 degrees out from the ground and that is your superset. All right, so Taylor's gonna grab some type of a counter or a table as so. Now what he's gonna do is gonna set up his left foot and he's going to round his opposite foot that's not gonna be stabilization, uh, stabilizing so that he can find and sit into that glute on the side that he's working. Now his upper body is going to round as so. He's holding onto the counter, he's gonna squat down even a little bit lower, all right? And the pulsators, what he's gonna do, he can either take this foot off the ground or keep it on the ground, either or, and he's just gonna go up and down very, very like that, as so. You feel that in your glute? Yeah. All right, and that is going to be this set. Last super set, this is going to be brutal, I promise you. So what I want you to do is find some type of uh, a platform, it could be your couch. I suggest it's just a chair, okay? Now this one, this knee's gonna be bent slightly, but this leg's gonna be fully extended, okay? Now what he's gonna do is keep his chin back, put his hands into the ground, tighten in his stomach. Now this is the leg that we're gonna be working, okay? The one that's flat on the ground. We wanna make sure that his toes are gonna come up and squeeze here, okay? And this leg up here is just gonna be supporting him. So he's gonna come up with his hips slightly and he's gonna start pulling and dragging all the way up, keep going, keep going, keep going, about 90 degrees and then coming right back down. Now, you can make it a little easier for yourself if you put more weight and stress on this leg. If you're more of a beginner, more advanced, you're gonna put more stress on this leg. Go ahead and do it one more time, all the way up and then all the way back down, you feel your hamstring? Yeah. All right, now let's get up, and we're gonna be moving straight into 10 single leg suicide squats on each side, okay? So suicide squats are, are a little bit different than sissy squats. What he's gonna do is find a platform or something, okay? Now, he's gonna bring one leg up, so this leg will be off the ground, and he's gonna come forward, down, almost like he's trying to touch his knee to the ground. Most important thing is right when he feels his knees at about a 90 degree angle, he's gonna come right back up, you feel that? Mm -hmm. And making sure that he's tightening his core and keeping his chin back slightly, Keep bring it back a little bit, your chin. Cool, right there. A big chest, as you can see, is gonna come down and then right back up. So it's not even too big of a movement, but those 10 reps are going to make it burn for you. Trust me on that one. All right, so there you have it, Taylor. Thanks for coming through. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Give us some feedback on how you're enjoying the 30 for 30 series. Remember, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when new videos and workouts are published. If it's not there, it's a rest of recovery day. All right, subscribe if you haven't already. Again, comment down below. Check out his Instagram, it's on the screen. Check out my Instagram on the screen. DM me if you want, talk shit. Give me a five-star review on Yelp. I don't care. I'm Brandon, this is Taylor, we'll see you next time. Peace.